What has the uh, training been like between Tulsa and this week? Uh, I would just real upbeat right now. Everybody's pretty upbeat. I think the mood, you know, we got our last scrap here. Um, at 10.30 this morning on Monday here, and I think, you know, I just the mood's been really, really good and light and, um, you know, excited, I think is the key word right now. Everybody's excited. And, uh, you know, we went into the Big 12 zero and zero and had some good things happen and had some bad things happen, but we get to be zero and zero one more time. So we just got to learn from that. What were some big picture lessons or takeaways from their performance in Tulsa? Because it seemed like the high highs, but also some low lows, maybe at some points. You know, we lost some close matches, and um, I think probably just maybe a little tentative and held our cards a little bit, so I think we just have to be more aggressive. And, um, you know, it's one thing to lose and feel like you you didn't throw it all out there. It's okay to lose if you go out there and you throw it all out there. So that's going to be our message is that we just have to get out there and, and do what we do and trust our shape, and our, our shape's really good, and the conditioning, and as they say, the hay's in the barn right now. So let it fly and don't walk off that mat with any regrets of, man, you know what, I, I, I probably should have got after more in the first period. What did you think of the seeds overall for NCAA? Uh, you know, I guess maybe I'm just getting old and that I don't get as high or low with those. I don't get to, you know, I, you know, sure there's some situations that you wish you could maybe be somewhere else, but then when you start trying to predict that, somebody gets upset and, you know, it's kind of like at uh, 125, you know, Terrakina, got beaten a barn burner with Teske, and then he comes back and he's got the number two seed right away. Um, and if he wins that match, then maybe it looks a little different. But if you looked at it uh, before the tournament started, he had kind of a clear path, clearer path to get, you know, to the third place match. But so you, you just, you can't second guess yourself. You just got to wrestle the guy they put in front of you. With how well you are able to keep your emotions low, what's your message to your guys who maybe don't necessarily, since they're still so young? I think we did a good job of putting them in a lot of tough situations this year, uh, with a lot of you know a lot of good dual meets. I mean, if you think about it, they went on the road and won at U and I, they went on the road and won at Missouri, they went on the road and uh, won at Oklahoma State. Uh, they they had you know they were pretty battle tested in terms of wrestling in big environments where everybody was against them. So, and then you know wrestling in uh, Tulsa is definitely like an Oklahoma State dual meet. So I don't think they're going to get. Uh, cheered against as much in, at the NCAs if they tried. So we should be good there. Um, how do you, like Marcus's situation in Tulsa, um, how, do you, how do you talk to an athlete who's going through something like that, you know, at a pretty pivotal point during a pretty really good season? I don't believe there's a handbook on that one right there. I don't think, I think everybody's different. Um, uh, I was involved in breaking that news to him, and uh, of course he was super emotional right from the, the, the minute the words came out of uh, our mouths, and um, when he should have been. You know, we walked around the hotel a little bit right afterwards, and I said, I know it's going to be hard for you. Uh, you probably have zero interest in wrestling right now, but you got to find some find some interest, and I think he really stepped up on Sunday and did a good job, and you know, I think he's excited now, and I think he really gets the zero and zero part. So I always say you got to go through a lot of obstacles to get on that podium, and that was an unusual obstacle for him. What is it like for you as his coach to see just how far Marcus's maturity has come um, after he won on Saturday or Sunday? It was Sunday. Um, he told me he just didn't really want to, but he found that strength to just go out there and fight for his team and do it for his team. You know, how big is it for you to see how far he's come? Yeah, it's character, and he's, he's really uh, – He's really matured. You know, he's always been a talent. And early on when he got in tough situations, you know, like a lot of kids when they're young, uh, he didn't do so well. But I think the more times you get put in the fire, uh, the better you get at being in the fire. And, you know, he's been put in the fire a lot this year and won some big matches for us. And so, you know, even you started to see it last year uh, at the NCAA tournament in the Big 12s. I mean, he got on a roll. He got to the round of 16 last year. And I could tell when he lost that it really bothered him. And so... His training and his consistency to not have that happen again has been really good, and so I, I think he's going to have, I think he's going to be real competitive all weekend. When he first committed here, he was, I mean, he was one of KJ's guys. Mm -hmm. So how has your guys' kind of relationship evolved since he finally got to campus? I think anytime you get a new coaching staff in and you weren't recruited by that coaching staff, there becomes that trust issue. So it's more of them trusting us. And, and getting comfortable with us. But I felt like he did that pretty early on. 
Um, he's kind of a quiet kid by nature, so he's always thinking and the wheels are always turning, but he doesn't, he doesn't express it uh, as much as other kids might. But I really saw with him when things, I always say when things get really hard, you go one of two ways. You either bust through it or else, you know, you quit. And he, he was put in a really tough situation last year. You know, obviously younger got here. Marcus was at 197. And the first couple times they worked out, or maybe the first five or six times they worked out, younger just took it to him. And, and I think Marcus saw that there was an upcoming uh, wrestle off and Marcus was hurt at the beginning of last year. Of course, last year was crazy because the beginning was January and he started getting healthy at the end of January. And then the wrestle off came in February and he improved and he pushed through that. But that month of January was really telling for me to see how he was going to handle, you know, the adversity of just a really good guy coming in, wanting your spot. Um, and so it was great. You know, he pushed through that. I think that was part of the reason that he had the success he did. I just believe you got to, you got to do a lot of hard things before you're going to see results out there when it counts. So I think that was something hard that he had to do that gave him confidence at the end of the year. And, and then obviously they had a discussion in the off season that, Hey, you need to go this way and I need to go this way so we can both contribute to this program. So they, they feed off each other well now and, and are great training partners. I've heard there's some pretty good stories of those two scrapping in the practice room. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Those two are, they're fun to watch. We can't put them together too often because we're worried that we're going to be in the, um, in the emergency room because there's a lot of, <laughs> A lot of twisting and turning that we don't want to see <laughs> in the practice room we want to see out there so what kind of impact have you seen st john have on marcus they've just kind of hit it off from day one uh st john just kind of gravitated towards marcus and saw a lot of talent there and spent a lot of time together and obviously you can see a lot of you know marcus got real le good leg attacks and st john's had a lot of good leg attacks and can teach leg attacks really well so there's been a bond there for those two guys, uh, similar personality, super kind of to themselves a little bit, not outgoing, but when they get together in the wrestling room, there's a lot of learning, and a lot of back and forth, good back and forth.